Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hash Raptor YouTube channel. Hope you guys are doing great today, having a great day. Despite everything that's going on in the world, I hope things are going well for you. If you're new around these parts, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. Today, we are going to be talking about some of the NVIDIA rumors that are floating out there as we are going into GTC 2020, which is going to start May 14th. So we're only a few days now away from seeing what NVIDIA is going to be discussing, if we're going to see potential new GPUs, what the specs are going to be, what the pricing is going to be, when we might be able to see them released, all that good stuff. So it should be exciting. We're going to go over a little bit of that today. And we're also going to go over our weekly mining farm update. We're going to show you what the rigs are doing. We're going to show you how we're playing Raven. We're going to show you some of the adjustments that we've made. We're also going to do a Raven asset giveaway. So we've got the red stapler to give away today and a few hash raptor tokens along. I think I've got a few savage mine tokens left over. So we'll be doing that giveaway as well. And lastly, I'm most excited about this. This is going to give you a sneak peek into some of the upcoming episodes we have, but we're going to be doing an unboxing on some gear that AAA wave sent over should provide for us some pretty exciting content as we are building new rigs, new frames, getting ready to make the move out into the shed and potentially purchase new GPUs to fill these new rigs once we see what's what's coming. So we'll have that unboxing here and I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, first up, we said GTC is scheduled for May 14th, 6 a.m. That's Pacific Standard Time. So that'll be 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll be up, hopefully. <laughs> I won't be oversleeping. And we'll be watching to see what will be announced during the keynote. Now, here's some of the rumors that we saw recently regarding the 3080. And a few other cards are in here as well. Now, this is from Tom's Guide. And there's a bit of information that's been pulled together from a variety of sources, and I'll read some of this to you here. According to a DigiTimes report, NVIDIA recently placed a large production order for its 7 nanometer Ampere chips with its manufacturing partners, meaning the RTX 3080 could be very close to launching. Given these time frames, it isn't unreasonable to expect the RTX 3080 and potentially the 3070, and maybe the 3080 Ti, to launch by summer 2020. However, it's possible that the human malware event has delayed the production of the RTX 3080 to later this year. So I have seen some other rumors that said that these GPUs, while they may be announced, may actually be pushed to Q4. And I don't know, we may see something in between there, between July to end of this year, depending on how supply chain pans out. But you would think that NVIDIA would set pretty good expectations during the keynote. So we'll be interested to see what they have to say. Now, currently the 2080 Ti is going for around $1,199. There's been a somewhat sketchy rumor that suggests the 3000 series cards could be more affordable than their predecessors. As pointed out by Tech Radar, NVIDIA may use Samsung's 7 nanometer extreme ultraviolet lithography process for manufacturing its new cards, which would allow the RTX 3080 to both offer better performance than previous generations, while also making the GPU cheaper to produce, which sounds pretty interesting. So could we see a sub $1,000 3080 Ti? And if we do, what's going to happen with the 2080 Ti line? Now, as for specs, we do have some rumors that Tom's Guide has pulled together here for us. We saw these in some tweets that went out earlier this year. They are looking at two models, the GA103, likely the 3080, and the GA104 model, likely the 3070. If the 3080's rumored specs are true, NVIDIA's new cards would get a huge boost in video memory. And we'll definitely be speculating as to what it would do from a mining standpoint. Now, my hope is that during the keynote, surely there will be these headline items as we hear about the 3080s, the 3070s. But what I really am curious about is that lower to mid tier end of cards. So currently it's the 1660 Ti's, the 1660 Supers. And here's one of the charts we put together in a previous video, sort of outlining our favorite cards currently on the market, what their price points are, what their hash rate is. And 
I would love it if they tagged on to the keynote an update to the 1660 Ti. I call it the 1770 Ti. I don't know what the official specification would be. It would be great if we could see a refresh of this lineup here between the 1660 Ti and the 1660 Super, because that is in all likelihood where we're gonna see the sweet spot from a mining efficiency standpoint. And I was hoping there'd be some hints based on the availability of video cards out on the market. And if you look at Amazon or Newegg, and I just do a search for 1660 Ti's, it's hard to tell there could just be supply chain issues, but these cards have been going out of stock regularly. And what is in stock, the prices have been going up and up on. So I don't know if that's indicative of new cards being announced or probably more than likely just issues with supply chain and the availability of products coming to the market. Okay, moving on, I wanted to talk really quickly about Ravencoin. And you can see here, as we look at the network hash rate for the day, it's varying widely. We're getting as low as back down to about 2.67 terahash per second and upwards of 3.99, so touching four, just over four terahash per second. Am I still mining Ravencoin? I sure am. And the reason is, is because I've heard some folks say that as the prices continued to settle in here, as the hash rate settled, that they've moved back over to ETH and that's great. But for me, I am keeping a close eye on the number of coins that I can mine. So what you see here are the results for my 13X 1660 Ti rig. And you can see that the number of coin that I'm bringing in actually is pretty substantial. So on this rig just a few months ago, prior to the switchover, I was getting less than 200 Raven per month. So my eye is being set on the amount of coin that I can hodl. And if we get a price spike, this is not financial advice, it never is. <laughs> but if we get a price spike from sub, two cents US upwards of back where we once saw it at six cents US, so 0 0.06, then you can take these earnings roughly and multiply that by three. So we may see a three X. We may not, it could go to zero and we could lose all the value in our coin, but six cents price target is what I am personally holding out for. So I'm gonna hodl my Raven until we get back around that point again. And above $10, 10 to $12 per day mining profits is pretty darn good. Okay, so just a quick look at my rigs. As I said, I still have my rigs mining Raven. I'm thinking this 1060 rig, I may move that back over to spec mining. My AMD rig, I am currently doing some testing on with NiceHash OS. So all of my testing prior to this were on NVIDIA cards. And I wanted to see what happens with AMD and I'm getting some pretty good results. I still haven't been able to replicate the efficiency that I've seen in Hive. And that's because in NiceHash OS, you lose some of the switches that you have in Hive to optimize the overclocks. But it is super simple to set up for AMD cards if you're wanting to get it up and running or just play around with that. I do have a NiceHash OS overclocking guide that you may want to take a look at. And I may do an upcoming video on the nice hash testing that we're doing on this rig. I do have a 1660 Super actually that's in my studio rig that is solo mining Raven as well. So I'll let you know if it hits a block. Should be pretty fun to see what happens there. All right, the fun part, we are going to do a quick giveaway here for the stapler and a few tokens. So let's see if we get a winner with a Ravencoin address here. Hey, there we go, Chris from New Mexico. And he does have his Raven address in here, awesome. Okay, buddy, I will be sending you the red stapler as an asset and you will also be getting some hash raptor token oh and i am out of savage token all right so that is it you'll be getting 10 hash raptor token as well as the red stapler it's on its way yep all right there we go okay guys up next we are jumping into 
an unboxing, which is pretty cool. Triple A Wave was kind enough to send some gear over to us. I can't wait to show it to you. And then it'll give you a hint of what we're going to be doing in some upcoming videos with some of this gear. We're going to get creative. It's going to be pretty cool. I think you'll enjoy it. All right, so this is the box that Triple A Wave was kind enough to send over, and it's just freaking massive, guys. It's awesome. Uh, it weighs about 60 pounds. So we're gonna open this thing up. I actually had to move the table out of the way and some other stuff uh, just so we could open this up. We put it down on the floor. It's so heavy. Uh, but we're gonna open this thing up and see what is inside. So, all right, look at this. It's packed really well. <laughs> oh, check this out. So, these are some new risers. I love the color scheme on these because I've been thinking of doing a themed rig and this already has sort of the color scheme that I'm going for on this. So I think they just look awesome. They look fantastic. Let's see if you can get a good look there. Let's see how many of these we got. One, two, three, wow, just a bunch of these. Oh, I'm so thankful. You have no idea. You have no idea how much I can use this stuff. Especially as we are building out the shed. Oh my gosh, how many is this? Uh, I know there's not a GPU in here, but still, man, every little bit just helps so much. Oh geez, this is awesome. Oh, now here's something else I'm real excited about. I was talking to them and I asked them if they could send over some of these AAA Wave uh, fans that I saw on their website. And this, not only am I super interested to test these out, I have a few kind of, I don't wanna say modifications, but a different way of doing things than I've done before I wanna do some testing with. And then uh, also, I just I just love the, the color design of this. So I'm really excited to get these onto a, onto a rig. I'm running out of room to set stuff. Triple A wave, you guys rock. Thank you so much. All right, oh my gosh. I have my like, fans for life here. But like I said, I wanna do something a little bit different with these guys. We're probably gonna use them up pretty quick. And every little bit helps in building out the shed. Every little bit helps. The fans, they keep coming. Oh geez, this is so wonderful. So we've got three boxes right here. There should be three of their AAA Wave rig frames. And if you guys saw when I was shopping, um, I pulled up one of these, I think, in one of my recent videos that I wanted to try out. So I'm so thankful that they sent these over. AAA Wave, you guys rock. Thank you so much. Just fans and fans. Oh man, this is... Just incredible, I'm, I'm, I've run out of room to set stuff. Wow, all right, look at this. So, let's see if you can see down in there. We still have more fans, more fans coming. This, these suckers, when we get them loaded up, these rigs are going to literally take off. And definitely going to, Ah, the sluice. Okay, so this is their 12 GPU rig frame. And the sluice is supposed to be kind of their next generation over, I think they called it the dredge rig frame. And I think they just made some minor improvements on that. So, um, and I asked the guys over there when we were chatting, which would be better for me to do if I was gonna do above a 12 card rig, would it be better to do a 16, GPU frame or get two 12s and stack them because these are supposed to be stackable. And they said they would recommend the two 12s and I think that that also has a little bit to do with 
just my craziness, I may go above 16 if that is at all possible. Just for no other good reason than I want to try it. I want to see what happens. So we've got the 12 here, and I think what that leaves us, yep, so we've got another 12. We've got another 12 sluice here. Look at that packaging too. I'm like, that's, that's good stuff. This is packaged really well and it's inside of another box here, which is really cool. Okay, and this one I'm real excited to give a try too. All of these rig frames, if you look them up, I'll leave links in the show notes below. They're all very affordable. I mean, these things are very inexpensive, very reasonable. And um, that first one that I built, which was the pan, again, I think that's their lowest end. Um, that thing was just a solid, it was very small. Again, it's probably for like a six card build or less. It's very small. I, I was watching, um, I think it was Life of a Miner. Shout out guy. Uh, not too long ago, and I saw him, I'm pretty sure I saw that several of his five and six card rigs were on the pan. And that's a solid little inexpensive rig frame, and we featured it in one of our rig build videos as a selection. And uh, so this is, a, this is the Sluice 6 GPU frame, and I'm excited to kind of get this thing built and see what the differences are. Um, yeah, and just kind of get it put into production here. So really cool, really, really cool. All right, so let me move some stuff around. And we've loaded up our table right here with fans and risers and every little bit helps out. So I'm just really thankful to AAA Wave for sending this over. It gives me an opportunity to show it to you guys yeah, all right guys, well, that does it for this unboxing. I'm gonna start getting this stuff built and put together and I'll bring it to you guys and hopefully uh, we can try some stuff out and, and bring you some unique content and a few unique videos of things I haven't tried in the past. So, all right guys, that'll do it for now. Y'all take care. See ya, be sure to hit that sub button, hit that like button, take care Raptors, bye-bye.